Hello. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to talk about the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions of substituted benzenes, uh, focusing on the relative rate of reaction. And I'm not going to talk about any specific substitution reaction at the moment, but I am going to talk about some specific substituted benzenes. In the previous video, I shared that having a substituent on uh, benzene can change the rate of reaction, uh, make the reaction faster or slower, and can change uh, the regio and, and provides an opportunity for regioselectivity. Regioselectivity is going to be the, the topic of some upcoming videos. Uh, if R is equal, is something that's electron donating, I'm just, I'm going to pick uh, one functional group for the sake of, you know, picking a functional group. So like phenol, the, the alcohol group is electron donating. And you might look at this immediate, uh, initially and say, wait a minute, Dr. Norris, uh, the oxygen is electronegative. And I would say, yes, you are right about that. All right. And so the oxygen might be electronegative, but phenol is electron uh, donating, the, the oxygen electron donating by resonance. And so let me draw some resonance structures for you. Get my double headed arrow. And we'll go to down here. So phenol is capable of donating electron density into uh, the benzene ring through resonance. And this is a big deal. And we're going to see that this behavior is also responsible for uh, some of the regiochemical outcomes as well. But we're just going to talk about electron density for the moment. Actually, going to end up drawing five resonance structures, so I need to move move some things over here. Whenever I do this uh, part of my what I am doing, drawing out these resonance structures takes feels like it takes forever, and it pretty much does. So, I appreciate your patience. Uh, some lone pairs here. And lone pairs back on the oxygen, lone pair here, negative charge here. All right, so <clears throat> phenol or the, the OH group in phenol is electron donating by resonance. So this has the, the benefit of increasing the electron density on the ring. And since in, in an electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction, the ring is a nucleophile and it's reacting with something that wants electrons. makes the ring a better nucleophile, if I can spell nucleophile here, and it makes, and it increases the relative rate. All of these things where R is electron donating are called activating groups or activators. I'll use that phrase, activators. And I'm going to consider the alternate case, R is electron withdrawing. And for my electron withdrawing group here, um, actually let me let me grab all of these things and move them up so that it looks like there's a gap there. 
For my electronic drawing group, I am going to use ketone. <clears throat> and we're going to draw all kinds of resonance structures. Uh, so just, uh, just bear with me for a moment. Here. So electron withdrawing groups withdraw uh, electron density from the aromatic ring, and our ketone here does it by resonance. There are some that will do it by induction. Um, and that's a thing to talk about at another time or, or something we could talk about here at the end of the video. Uh, but right now, as I, as I just did for the electron donating case, I want to draw in all five resonance structures. And, and I apologize for not wanting to draw the arrows for all of them in a minute. this one I'll fix my charges fix my charges okay thank you for being patient with me there um, this functional group is electron withdrawing by resonance it decreases electron density on the ring. Uh, it makes the ring you know, is a poorer nucleophile. So it has less electron density. It's reacting with something that wants electron density. So you can imagine that that pairing is not quite as good. And and this combination decreases the relative rate. Uh, and because of such things, uh, these kinds of groups are referred to as deactivators. They make the react electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions slower. And notice we're not talking about any specific electrophile at the moment. We're talking about substitution substituents on the, the benzene ring. So I want to finish up my video by just listing some things that are activators. Uh, I'm going to draw bonds and put stuff at the end of them. I want you to, to think about these bonds being attached to uh, the other ends of those bonds being attached to a benzene ring or some other aromatic compound. There is a rhyme and a reason for for what I am doing here. You notice that all of these things that I have drawn are things that are uh, that have lone pairs on them and are connected directly to uh, the the benzene ring through the atom that has the lone pair. Even though I did an example earlier where a carbonyl group was a deactivator, it was attached at the carbonyl carbon, and that's the big difference here between. Um, what I've got drawn down here in my activators. Uh, there are two other things that belong in the activating group, though they're not activating by resonance, and those are alkyl groups. I'm hesitant to just write R because R is, is a little bit too general. And um, aryl groups, aryl groups are, are other aromatic rings. These things are electron donating by induction draw a line in here separating out my deactivators. 
My deactivators include carbonyl compounds, but carbonyl compounds attached at the the carbonyl, you know, at the carbonyl carbon. So your aldehydes, your ketones, your carboxylic acids, uh, your esters. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, amides. With, with, with and without uh, alkyl groups on the nitrogen. Um, the nitrile functional group. Let me show my carbon atom here. Uh, all of these things are electron withdrawing by resonance. Uh, so also is... All of these uh, sulfonyl groups, sulfonyl groups, I don't want dysprosium, sulfonyl groups, whether it's sulfonic acid or sulfonyl chloride or, or just whatever, whatever's over on the other side of the sulfonyl group. The nitro functional group is also in this category. And then... Um, so things that are electron withdrawing by induction include trihalomethanes, especially when X is fluorine. Um, it makes you know the the carbon hydrogen bonds are what are, are what make alkyl groups electron donating by induction, but carbon halogen bonds are polarized the other direction. Uh, and protonated amines and quaternary ammonium salts. So now there's no longer a lone pair on the nitrogen. It's protonated or it's got a bunch of alkyl groups on it. Okay. Here are all of the different... Oh, and there's one other group, I'm very sorry, uh, in the deactivator category that needs to be mentioned. Uh, I'll move my line over a little bit because I want these things to be... Uh, Some of these things might actually be behind my head, so I'm going to move them up here in a minute, and I apologize. Uh, one other thing that's uh, electron drawn by resonance are the halogen atoms themselves. They go in the deactivator category, and I'm going to move this stuff up uh, and out of from behind my head so you can see it. So this table here summarizes the different types of activators and deactivators. Uh, and in the next couple of videos, we're going to understand that, or we're going to come to an understanding that these things also uh, have an effect on the regiochemical outcome of, of the reactions of substituted benzenes. And then we're going to wrap up this series by uh, comparing the different types of these functional groups. So right now, uh, there's kind of an order to the way I've presented these things, but there is actually a, a specific order in the way they should be presented from strong activators, to weak activators, weak activators, weak deactivators, strong deactivators, and so on. Thank you for watching.